Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion, and today we're going to have a short little video to take a look at what the IB core concepts are for oligopoly. This is your checklist. This is what you need to look at at the beginning of the unit to see what you got to do, and then at the end of the list, at the end of the unit, to find out if you can do it. If you can do this stuff, the IB will tell you, hey, you know what, kid? Go to bed. If not, stay up and study. So let's take a look at what they are. All right, in oligopoly, they're pretty straightforward. What do we got to do? Well, just like the other market structures, we got to be able to explain the assumptions of the market of oligopoly. How are we operating? As economists, we make an enormous amount of assumptions. You need to know what they are. And of course, these are the distinguishing characteristics of this market structure. And it's these assumptions that will make firms behave a certain way in this market structure. So you need to know what they are. You need to be able to definitively distinguish between collusive oligopoly and non-collusive oligopoly. Do you know what that is? Go to bed. You don't, stay up and study. Three, distinguish between formal collusion and tacit collusion. You need to be able to define a cartel. You need to be able to explain the role of game theory, something super cool and unique to oligopoly. Can you explain it? Can you? Do you know how it role plays out in real life in oligopolies in their situations based on game theory? If you don't, learn it. If you do, coolness, go on. Explain the il and illustrate the kink and demand curve. Ah, another interesting theoretical demand curve that's unique to oligopolies. Do you understand it? Can you explain it? Can you illustrate it? If you can, sweet. If you can't, keep studying it. And lastly, be able to explain and give examples of non-price competition. Can you do that? You should be able to by the end of this unit. If you can't, you're not ready. So there's your checklist for oligopolies. And that is how you are going to know whether or not you're ready for the test. All right, my friends, it's pretty sweet. The IB tells us what you got to do. You can look at it before the unit. You go through the unit. You figure it out. Always check it at the end. Think of it as a review sheet of what you got to be able to do. If you can do those things, you're sweet for oligopoly. Move on to the next topic. If not, go back and study. Just remember, you can do this. If not, these videos are here for you. And there's tons of help out there for you. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Be kind to yourself. Know that you can do this. And we'll talk to you in a bit.